Hello, I'm Jeffrey Barker, and I'm the Associate Principal Flute of the Seattle Symphony. It's a really special thing for me to be playing in the Seattle Symphony because Seattle is actually my hometown. And I love the outreach and education component of my job here, and it has, I think, a, a deeper meaning for me to be working in the community in which I grew up. Homelessness is one of the biggest challenges that this region faces and the Seattle Symphony has responded to that with our Simple Gifts initiative. One of the programs that I've been involved with through that initiative is the Lullaby Project, which is a collaboration with Mary's Place. The Lullaby Project uh, pairs musicians with homeless mothers and helps them write lullabies for their children, which we end up performing here at Benaroy Hall and also record on the Benaroy Hall stage. Seattle Symphony has proudly partnered with Carnegie Hall's Wild Music Institute and Mary's Place in presenting the Lullaby Project since 2013. And ever since Jeffrey arrived at the orchestra, he has played a, a vital role in this program in helping us imagine ways for our musicians to connect deeply with the parents and to use music as a tool for expressing their hopes and dreams for their children. Last year, when I was participating in the Lullaby Project, one of the mothers I worked with was Sabrina. And I felt like Sabrina and I kind of hit it off right from the beginning and, and formed a, a kind of a special bond. And Sabrina was, was really adamant that she, she wanted to sing her lullaby herself, which was just a, a really special thing to, to make this lullaby even more personal for her. We have so we ended up recording her lullaby and performing it here with her singing, and it was a very emotional experience for all of us. Jeffrey is amazing. He has this ability to turn what would be anybody's worst nightmare into a sweet dream. And for Sabrina, who he worked with, um, she was in the nightmares of postpartum depression, had a new baby, had a toddler, and yet had lost everything. Had lost her home, had lost hope, had lost the ability to want to get up in the morning, and yet he came in and immediately they made this connection and offered her the opportunity to write her lullaby. And it was that lullaby that um, restored her hope and her ability to connect and bond with her baby and it also reunited her family. They were all there at the performance when Jeffrey played and Sabrina sang her lullaby to her children. You know, just, uh, you know, sweet dreams. And you can't say enough about sweet dreams when you don't even have a home. Our musicians have so much energy for this work and it's really exciting to see them come together with the parents and the way that Jeffrey and all of our musicians partner with the parents and really build that relationship during the workshop and during the recording sessions, uh, harness that energy into the music so that they can create the most beautiful lullaby possible. Um, it's, it's a really beautiful moment to see our community and our musicians coming together. We're so excited that Jeffrey is being given this award. We can't think of anybody more deserving, more compassionate, more loving, um, someone who champions their neighbors that are experiencing hard times, who's championing the child living outside, who's coming beside us and building relationships. And that's probably the most incredible gift that he's given through his music. He's an incredible man and we are incredibly grateful at Mary's Place to be in relationship with Jeffrey. I believe that the community outreach that we do in the Seattle Symphony has to be for absolutely everyone here. If we want to make it relevant for our community, we have to reach out to all different demographics and that includes our homeless population. I feel so privileged that in my work in the Seattle Symphony, I get to be a part of that and try to reach this community on many, many levels. Thank you. Sleepy.